Hello NEET aspirants of Tamil Nadu state. Here I have the seat matrix, cutoff analysis and the counselling process for you. And yes, for the process you should go to the official website as well and the link of the website is clearly mentioned on the screen. Have a look on it. That is tnmedicalselection.net slash further. In this continuation, we'll be talking about a lot of things, among which the very first and the important thing is the eligibility criteria. Candidate must have native certificate of Tamil Nadu state. This is one of the eligibility criteria. Or candidate who are native of other states but studied their schooling from 6th standard to 12th standard continuously in Tamil Nadu. They are also eligible under the open category. But it's important to know the alternate eligibility criteria as well. For the same, you need to check the prospectus available on the official website. Now, after getting the information of eligibility criteria, let me tell you the entire counselling process step by step. So, very first step of the counselling process is online registration. And where to go for it? You have to just go for online registration at tnmedicalselection.net. That's the official website. Post declaration of the state rank. It's very important to go for the choice filling and that would be done there at the official website. Yes. And then the process of admission would start. You would get the allotment for admission and you need to report at the allocated medical college. Now in this continuation, it is important to understand the MBBS seat metrics and for better clarity, I brought a map for you. If you just look at the given map, you will find that certain places have been mentioned. This will give you a clear idea about the medical colleges in your neighborhood and in your own city, if it is. Now, the total number of the colleges there in Tamil Nadu are 57 and the total number of the seats are 8,375. Out of these 57 colleges, 37 are government colleges and the private colleges are 20. And the total number of seats which are considered as the government seat, these are 5,175 and the total private seats are 3,200. Hope this map is clearly giving you an idea about the government college, private colleges and the respective seats in your state. In this continuation, to know the names of the government colleges in your state, it's very important. And here the first name is Ames Madurai. The total seats are 50. but. For the same, you have to go for All India Counselling at the MCC website. It means no seat is there for state counselling for AIMS Madurai. But yes, a lot of government colleges are there. On the screen, you can clearly see that all the medical colleges are mentioned here. These are the government colleges. List is pretty big and the total number of seats are also mentioned here. Now, turn comes for the private medical colleges for MBBS, then a lot of Private medical colleges along with the seats are there and these are clearly mentioned on the screen. You can identify the college in your neighborhood. During the medical counseling process, it's very important to understand about the BDS seat metrics as well. Total number of colleges for BDS are 22 and the total seats are 2150. Out of which two government colleges are there and 20 private colleges are there. The seat bifurcation is 200 seats in the government colleges and total 1950 seats in the private colleges. Now BDS seat matrix is clearly visible on the screen in the form of the map that I have mentioned here. Just check the government colleges and the private colleges along with the seats on your screen. To know about the names of colleges also important here. So I have the entire chart of available government colleges and the private colleges. So two government colleges with 100 plus 100 seats are given here and along with that the private colleges are also mentioned. Now the entire counselling chart is here for you. Tamil Nadu state medical counselling process involves the categorization of the total number of the seats. So here government medical colleges and the self-finance institution, the two categories are there first of all. Among the government medical colleges where 85% seats are available for state counselling because 15% seats are considered in all India counselling. Now, out of these 85% seats, further, the subdivision is there in various categories. So, first 31% for open competition, 30% is for the backward class, 
20% for most backward class and for the SC and ST category 19% seats are allocated and definitely for more details about this bifurcation and to know about backward class and the most backward class you need to visit the official website. Now in the continuation I am just going to tell you about the fee structure as well for OC, BC, BCM and MBC category the per annum fees is 13,610 and same ways for SC, SCA and ST category 9610 that's the fees per annum this is the fees for the government medical colleges and in this continuation it's important to know about the self-finance institution or the private medical colleges so 100 percent seats are available for state counseling where the government quota seats and the management quota seats these are the two subdivision now have a look on the given chart where we have categorized the nature of the institution first non-minority institution they have 65% government quota and 35% management quota. Same ways, the minority institutions would have 50% government quota and 50% uh, management quota in self-finance institution. Once again, the fee structure for the government quota, the fee structure is 4.35 to 4.50 lakh per annum and the management quota is 13.50 lakh per annum. NRI quota includes 24.5 lakhs per annum. Post fee structure, I will tell you about the list of documents which are required. So first of all, academic eligibility mark sheet or the certificate that you need to present, NEET UG admit card and the mark sheet, domicile or the nativity certificate if applicable for you, community certificate once again if it is applicable, PH or PWD certificate if you are belonging to the category, passport size photographs, government ID proof and your birth certificate. Along with that other relevant documents as per your eligibility norm are important those you need to present. Now once again it's important to understand about the cutoff and simultaneously the marks required. So this is the data on the basis of round 2 counselling of 2022 for MBBS. I have just mentioned here the state rank and the marks. So first of all for OC category 1429 and the cutoff marks were 581. But when it comes to BC category 3242 was the cutoff rank and the marks were 529. For MBC category, the state rank is 4609 and the marks were 496. Further, for SC category, the cutoff state rank 8518 and the cutoff marks were 407. Simultaneously, for ST category, the cutoff rank is 12179 and the cutoff marks 311. So, this is for MBBS seat. Now, the turn comes for self-finance institution MBBS cutoff and uh, basically this I'm talking about the government quota seats which are there in SFI. So private medical college cutoff 2022 round 2 was the basis of this data and yes I'm taking here the state rank and the marks. Have a look on it. For the OC category 5904 that was the cutoff rank and the cutoff marks 468. For BC category, 6,523 was the cutoff rank and the state cutoff marks 454. For MBC category, 7,128 is the cutoff rank and the cutoff state marks were 440. Further, for SC category, the state rank is 10,921 and the cutoff marks 343. Same ways for ST category, 18,603 that was the state cutoff rank and the cutoff marks 151. I hope this data is pretty clear to you. On the basis of this, you can proceed for the further procedure. Now, it is the turn to understand about the fee exemption which is provided for SC, SCA and ST category of Tamil Nadu candidates. Candidates who have selected government colleges, for them, this is valid. And here, SC, SCA and ST communities whose parents or guardians annual income is less than 2.5 lakh are exempted from payment of all compulsory non-refundable fee and this include enrollment, registration, tuition, games, 
यूनियन लाइब्रेरी मैगजीन मेडिकल एग्जामिनेशन एंड सच अदर फी कंपल्सरीली पेबल बाय द स्कॉलर टू द इंस्टीट्यूशन और यूनिवर्सिटी और बोर्ड एंड येस these are also exempted from all compulsory non refundable fee fixed by the fee committee the fee so exempted shall be claimed by the respective institution under the scholarship program of the government of india as per go number 6 adi dravidar and tribal welfare department date was 9 january 2012 and go number 51 adi dravidar and tribal welfare department dated 7th August 2013. After knowing the fee exemption criteria, now it's important to understand about the bond as well. For the government and the self-financing institution, I'm talking about the bond. So discontinuation bond is of 10 lakh rupees, and yes, the service bond is also applicable, which is of five-year rural service or the five lakh rupees in case of discontinuation. So this was all about the counselling process for the Tamil Nadu state. hope this information is important and valuable for you all the very best for your preparation and your final results hope you are going to get the medical college of your dream thank you so much for watching